Morning, it's Saturday. I'm gonna get the day started with a 40 minute stretch routine from Lululemon. After I stretch, I'm just gonna have some vector cereal with protein in it and then meditate, write the goals down, go through the whole morning routine, you know the drill. After that, we got an upper and core session, come back, hit a brick session, and then go over to my buddy's place and hang out for the night. 40 minute vinyasa flow. Grass fed Fruit Loop flavored whey protein. One scoop of that mixed with almond milk, used as the milk to pour into the bowl of vector cereal. We're gonna eat this and head over to the gym. Just got back, post-workout meal, guess what we're having? I'll give you two seconds. Vector with the whey again real quick because it's eat, it digests very well for me and I have to go out and bike. Plus we're toasting up a bagel that we're gonna put some peanut butter on. It's 2.30 and I have to go head to Toronto at 5.30 so that's in about three hours. This workout's gonna be just over two hours because two hour bike and a 15 run. So what we have to do is eat this, hydrate, get on the bike, do the bike session, quickly run, shower, eat, drive to Toronto, and have a good time with the boys. Just got in, that was tough. I had a cramp, I had a savage cramp because I just ate and then went. Didn't give myself enough time to digest, which I knew, but we had to make do with what we had. We got it done. I averaged 241 watts over the 30 minutes. It was one hour warm up, averaging about 170 watts. Then we went into the main set, which was 30 minutes at race pace, averaging 230 to 260 watts, anywhere between there. And what I could maintained for the 30 was 241 watts over the 30 minutes. Ended up stopping at two different lights though for about 30 seconds. That's in, and, I, and then I paused it and before we uh, continued. And then just did about 15 minute cool down on the way back, averaging about two, uh, averaging about 170 watts again. Now I'm just gonna drink, try to go to the washroom because my stomach feels so heavy and bloated right now because the food's still in there. And then get out there for the run, 15 minute run, five minutes fast at about four minutes per kilometer or less, and then 10 minutes slow at about five minutes per kilometer. Yeah. Let's go. 
Today's Monday. Sunday ended up being a rest day, and today we just have a swim and a run. It's an easy run and an endurance open water swim. We're gonna be doing that in a couple hours. I trained clients this morning, and now I'm just eating eggs and turkey bacon. We're gonna trade from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., get some stretching in, head over to the lake, get the swim in. After a couple hours, we're gonna end up doing the run, and then we have a podcast interview at around 5 p.m. Back at it again with the wetsuit hacks. All right, so for today's session, we have about 2,000 meters total. It's gonna to be a 200 meter warm up, doing some drills, then two by 800 meters with 30 second rest between the 800 meters. From here to that end is 80 meters. So we're gonna go there back five times, then we rest. That swim was not bad at all. Aura Ring was showing 90 something readiness. I haven't seen 90 readiness in forever. So I got a lot of good sleep the past couple days other than the one night that I drank two nights ago. but. In between that, I just slept like 12 hours each day. We are feeling well recovered. Don't feel extremely tight, which is great. And the main set of 800 felt pretty easy. I felt like I just keep going. Usually I would feel gas or my arms would start to fatigue, but lately I've been doing a lot of swimming specific training. Tricep extensions where I'm bent over and I'll do a single arm and get the full extension because when I was swimming, I would feel the burn when I would really go to do that last extension because my arm's not used to doing high reps of extensions. So I've been working on that, working on my shoulders a lot, and that's been helping with the pull. I've got a whole bunch of haddock and coconut basmati rice. Traded this morning, I took a trade on MTSL, got in at 7.65 and had a stop loss just below 7.30. And it stop loss got hit and then trended down. So it was about a 4% loss. I stretched before I went to swim. It's already just past one o'clock now. So we're gonna eat, let this digest, reply to emails, and then run in about two hours. Just finished the run and it went very well. Held five minutes per kilometer quite easily and we did 15K. I just went the extra few minutes until we got to 15K. We were drenched, like completely drenched. But it was, it was a great run, felt great on it. We're just gonna eat shower and I'm gonna hop on a podcast to talk about finding your purpose. Podcast interview is all wrapped up. It was a quality one. Talked a lot about icky guy, finding your purpose gave a little insecurities of when I burnt out multiple times, transitioning businesses, the whole spiel. But we're gonna go grocery shopping now, so let's go get some food. Hey, hey, good morning. Yesterday, I actually went and visited my parents, ate there, didn't show you the meal. It was basically a bunch of chicken and rice, and then I actually had some ice cream after. It was creamsicle ice cream, so that was great. And then I hung out with them for a few hours. My mom's toe cramped, it was interesting. I'm just heading out to train clients and I'll be back by about 8, 8.30. Once I'm back, we're gonna eat and then prepare for the charts. Today we've got an upper body workout and a run session. 15 minutes of that run being in zone four. So I'll be running about four minutes per kilometer for 15 minutes and we'll see how we do. It's 10 a.m. We've been on the charts for about an hour and not really taking any trades. CPI inflation data came out. It was kind of higher than expected in some areas. Stocks didn't do anything at first, and then on market open, we saw a sell-off, a little recovery, and it's it's choppy action. We don't know the direction, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I just need to stretch, and then likely go to the gym, train upper body, run later on, though. All right, it's 10.30 now. I'm actually having two slices of toast with peanut butter and jelly as I still look at the charts, looking to see if there's some opportunities. Some are looking pretty promising for setups, but we're gonna eat this. After about 20 minutes or so, we'll drive to the gym. It's about a 45 minute drive to the gym or we'll hit up here.
Let me tell you, we're feeling it after that one. That was actually very tough. Glad I did the core first. I was exhausted by the end, but we still crushed it and did just some, some lower body stretching because we have a run later. We're really going to see how the run goes. I'm just going to get home, eat, shower, do some online work. Picked up more cereal. So we got Fruit Loop flavored grass fed whey protein, one scoop of that with one cup of almond milk. We got a few cups of Vector, a few cups of the Cheerios Oat Crunch, big bowl. We're just gonna blend that up, use that as a milk, eat that. Easiest way for me to get a lot of carbs in. All right, there's a severe thunderstorm warning out right now. We're gonna head over to the track. I'm gonna jog to the track in the pouring rain. I'm gonna use music. I'm gonna put the poncho thing on my phone and I'm gonna put this hat forwards and we're gonna see if that's enough to protect ourselves from the rain so we can see and run and stay safe while we still get the workout done. Just finished the run and when I finished, my Garmin said new VO2 max of 56. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, the run went really well. It was raining hard just for the first like five, 10 minutes and then it was fine. I did the hard stuff on the track just so I didn't have to worry about the cars and stopping at lights for the hard, hard portion. And then once I finished the hard portion on the track, I just jogged back. It was a total of about 40 minutes. It was, it was kind of tough, but it wasn't terrible, to be honest. We're having two cans of tuna in the salad with mozzarella cheese, bacon bits, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. Reviewing the calendar, see what we gotta do next. It's 6.30, I did a little bit of quick stretching and we're gonna have some chips as a snack. I got sweet potato chips in there, sea salt, just picked them up. So we're gonna have that as a snack in a couple hours. I'm just gonna study for about an hour as I eat and then I'm gonna be editing this video for the last couple hours before I sleep around 9, 9.30 p.m. That's gonna be concluding the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more triathlon training vlogs just like this. We got the sprint triathlon coming up in about four weeks. The 70.3 Ironman is a year away, but the sprint one, four weeks away. So make sure you subscribe. We're gonna be getting a full video of that race, see how it goes, let you know the times. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.